Just as it's Thursday, it's time to say one big thank you. And tonight we're celebrating the work of Lizzie and Lucy from Nottingham, who've set up a running club to help people cope with cancer. Here's why their friends think they should be given a special surprise. Lucy and Lizzie deserve this one big thank you because they support people to move against cancer in their own way. In 2018, oncologist Lucy Gossage decided she wanted to help cancer patients and their families and friends combat the mental and physical effects of cancer. So she set up a running club. That's where 5K Away Move Against Cancer was born. Runners are encouraged to complete a 5K run, but to do it in a way that works for them. We really try and encourage people to come along and walk, jog, run, cheer or volunteer. So it's a support group with a difference. It can be whatever you want it to be, but you're out with other people. Lucy Paddock was one of the first to join and has since become one of the main organisers of the group. Lizzie is just an amazing person who has been through an incredible tough time in her life being diagnosed with cancer. Now she's a regional ambassador and she just wants to help people on a daily basis. And they both are very enthusiastic about people who are living with cancer. In just four years, the initiative has grown to 85 groups across the UK and Ireland, with more than 1,500 members. They do such a fantastic job at providing that support and love to everybody. Many people who have cancer struggle with their mental health alongside the physical effects of the disease. I, I was more or less at rock bottom. If they hadn't started this, I probably would have been at home feeling sorry for myself. At the end of October, I, I managed the 5K. It took me over an hour and 20 minutes, but I did it. We live with cancer, and, that, and that's our inspiration, both from Lizzie and Lucy. Incredible people, and who better to surprise them than Olympic legend Dame Jessica Ennis-Hill, who gave them a little bit of a runaround but they'll also remember this day forever. We're in Nottingham at the Portland Fitness Centre, the setting for a surprise for Lucy and Lizzie. They think they've been invited here to do an interview for a documentary about running. To help us spring the surprise, we've enlisted one of Britain's most successful athletes, double Olympic medalist, Dame Jessica Ennis-Hill. I'm a firm believer in the power of sport in helping people through really challenging times. So when I heard about what Lucy and Lizzie have been doing, I knew it was right up my street. Here's how we're going to surprise them. When Lucy and Lizzie arrive, filming is already underway for our pretend documentary. One of the team greets Lucy and Lizzie. Just gonna finish with the lady in here. He explains that right now they film in with a special guest. So if you want to just stand in and have a watch for a minute. Straight away, Lizzie recognises Jessica. We tell them Jessica's attempting a personal best on the running machine. The team pretend that they're having technical difficulties and pause the film in to sort things out. We just need to grab some stuff from the van. Need to... With the crew out of the way, Jessica beckons Lizzie and Lucy into the gym. Can I borrow you a sec? <laughs> but will they fall for what's about to happen? So I'm doing this documentary for BBC Sport. What I'm trying to do <laughs> is clock up as many miles in two hours. I'm so tired today. Do you mind hopping on? I will, you, you just want us yeah, to do you, Yeah, do you mind? Yeah, no, that's fine. It'd be so helpful. <laughs> just, like, go, I know, honestly, go at your own pace. Yeah, and just, I just need to clock as many miles up in two hours. Lucy can't quite believe what Jessica is asking her to do, but she's up for helping out and takes Jessica's place on the treadmill, but not without telling her she's slacking. I'm just going to say, Jessica, this is a bit lazy. I'll be back in two minutes, honestly. But this is just the beginning. Jessica slips off to get some props. While Lucy clocks up the miles, Jessica is going to take it easy. Oh my gosh, honestly, you guys. First, she's got herself a deck chair and a cheeky cocktail. The pair take it all in their stride, and with her feet up, Jessica uses this opportunity to find out more about their project from Lizzie. What are you here for today? Uh, we're here to talk about a group that brings along cancer patients, their families, friends, and oncology professionals down to park runs. Oh, no! And Lucy describes some of the incredible people that take part in the group. Like a 78 year old with bowel cancer, chemo stopped working. He walks around the 5K with his family. So far, Jessica's got away with her ruse, but she's stepping up the surprise with an unexpected delivery. Someone order pizza? Yeah, that's me. 
I'm so hungry, I'm so sorry. Even the idea of Jessica taking into a pizza when she should be doing a running challenge hasn't phased Lizzie and Lucy. But all is not what it seems, and Jessica is coming clean. I'm actually here on behalf of The One Show to say one big thank you to you both for all the amazing work you've been doing. No way! <laughs> I've been informed about you two amazing women, oh, so, yeah. It's a big thank you from us. Oh, my God. This came with custom old photos from the first group when we started, and so many of them have died. Yeah. But actually, that's really sad, but, but I know that, that 5K Your Way helped them and it made a big difference to their life whilst they were alive. You should be so proud of what you've achieved. We actually have another surprise for you as well. There's more people outside waiting to thank you. So, should we head out? Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> Go on, ladies. Hi Lucy and Lizzie, it's Ronan here from The One Show. You've been instrumental in creating a safe space for so many people to talk about cancer. We want to say a massive thank you for all your efforts, and we're not the only ones. Here are some messages from a few familiar faces. We want to say a big thank you to Lucy and Lizzie for organising these events. You're a true inspiration. I hope you know how much it means to so many people. You've made such a difference to so many people's lives and continue to do so every day. As someone living with incurable cancer, it's given me a real sense of purpose to be involved. And England striker Beth Mead sent this message. Hi Lizzie and Lucy, your running club is amazing. Um, giving people a safe space to talk about their experiences of cancer and doing that through sport is incredible and inspiring. Lucy's first reaction is to give her own thanks back. You guys are, are showing other people with cancer that there is hope. And, and I know that, I get that stories, and I think that's a big thing, a big bit of what we're about. You're sending that message so strongly, so well done. Can we have one more round of applause for these incredible ladies? Lucy, Lucy. Oh, that was so nice. Yeah. So great. Kenneth Hill has a second career, potentially in acting. Yeah. She's very good, wasn't she? Yeah, very cunning. Yeah. Apart from that cocktail. I thought no, there's, like there's no cocktail no. in there. There wasn't even a straw. <laughs> anyway, here's the gang running on New Year's Eve look. Oh, very good. And we're always looking for people to surprise. If you know somebody who you think deserves a one big thank you, then do drop us an email and tell us why you think they're so amazing. Yeah.